ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the original, often imitated, but never replicated, Now Space News program, in which I, your host, Colin Jason Knife and Matthew Colin Glass, take a choice curated selection of headlines, syntax them in front of your very eyes, and give some little closures here and there and some little opinions here and there about what's going on in the news. Uh, And this particular edition is for the week ending September 10th, 2022. A lot of stuff going on this week. In addition to the headlines, we have the meme of the week and then also the cognitive conjecture section, which comes around at the end which I think you're going to find very interesting having to do with Mark, lowercase k, Kishon, colon, Christopher. Okay. So the first headline of the week comes from AP News. I think that's Associated Press. Reading math scores fell sharply during pandemic data show. So at the request of a viewer, actually several viewers, I began putting in some of the particles of negation, not all of them, just some of the more obvious ones, such as the ING gerund modifier Of course, the poisonous L-Y, which can literally and does literally poison a tangible contract word into non-tangibility. So we have reading as a pronoun because it's standing by itself, followed by breaking and continuing to the evidence comma. Math is tangible contract adjective. Scores tangible contract adjectives. Fell tangible contract pronoun. And then as we know, nothing can follow a pronoun except for a breaking and continuing to the evidence or as in this case, an adverb, non-tangible contract, sharply, modifying during into tangible contract adjective, which is coloring tangible contract pandemic into a pronoun, and then another break in the continuance of the evidence, the comma, and then two more tangible contract words, which are data and show, uh, adjective, and then pronoun to finish it up. So what they're saying here basically is that the reading and math scores fell sharply, meaning students during the last two years, uh, their aptitude, their, their test scores and all that plummeted, basically. Now, think about this, ladies and gentlemen. If you make it difficult for children to learn or anyone to learn, you know, inhibit their accessibility to the halls of learning, their teachers, make it difficult for everybody to do this, what do you think is going to happen? I mean, if I were a logical individual, and I like to think of myself as such, I would say that this was done purposely. I certainly would. Just like the small businesses that are vanishing all over the place. I think, what is the statistic? 30 to 50% of small businesses will be gone by 2023. Well, I mean, this is more of the same. When you do things like this, what what do you expect is going to happen? Not only that, but also pushing children more into... Uh, looking at a screen all the time and living their lives through a screen, I mean, this is just, that's what's going to happen. What do you expect? No surprises. Next headline, a little less heavy. Pumpkin spice, bon me, among food words added to Merriam Webster. So as you can see, we have those dollar store quotation marks, otherwise known as uh, apostrophes, functioning as quotation marks, 
around pumpkin spice and banh mi, which means they're not on the page because it falls under the four corner rule. Look it up in Black's Law Dictionary if you choose. So we don't even worry about those. And then we have tangible contract among, tangible contract food, tangible contract words, tangible contract added. So we have adjective, 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 pronoun in the past tense because of the particle of negation, ed. And then we have future tense too, which is an adverb. And then Merriam-Webster, which is a tangible contract compound dangling participle verb. I don't know about you, but the first thing, the pumpkin spice, I can do without it. But by me's, oh my goodness, they are so delicious. Oh, by the way, this peanut butter smoothie, for those with discriminating tastes, has been brought to me today by a team known as Glass House Apiaries. And I will leave a link to that up in one of the corners of your screen here if you want to check out that channel. And also, uh, perhaps at the end, go ahead and give them a like and a subscribe and turn on your notifications. Uh, you know, they're kind of sporadic on the content, but it's really cool content having to do with um, cooking, do-it-yourself projects, and a very, very high percentage of taking care of bees. So check that out if you'd like. Our next headline comes from The Guardian. And it says, Los Angeles County is home to more than 69,000 unhoused people. Count fines. Count what? Count Dracula? <laughs> So we have adjective, 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 pronoun, adverb, future tense, verb, adverb, adjective, adjective, past tense, pronoun, adjective, pronoun. Unhoused people. Why wouldn't they choose to use the word homeless, I wonder? It's very, very interesting. All the things going on out there. And, and it's just, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, if you think about it. Is life better for us today as a society as a whole than it was 10 years ago or 20 years ago or 30 years ago or 40 years ago? Is it? Ask him for a friend. Why are American lives getting shorter? U.S. life expectancy got worse during, I'm not going to say that word, and then kept getting worse. That's an interesting turn of phrase there. U.S. life expectancy got worse. So expectation in the fiction, when you expect something, it means that you think something's going to happen, right? So U.S. life thinking that something's going to happen got worse. So the expectation of life got worse? Wow. As you can see, it's just a bunch of fictitious conveyance of grammar. Y is non-tangible contract adverb, modifying R into tangible contract adjective, 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 pronoun. And then U.S. life expectancy got worse during that word. A bunch of adjectives culminating in the pronoun there that I won't say. And then, interestingly enough, the word and here is a pronoun because it is not functioning as a conjunction. Conjunction, if you know what it is and you have closure on what it is, it's a neutral condition of state and it performs as a bridge between two things. In these types of scenarios and fiction scenarios, it can perform as a bridge between adverbs, verbs, adjectives, pronouns, or any of the five syntax patterns but here it's not connecting or bridging anything because a break in the continuance of the evidence occurs or precedes it as in the comma so it's nothing there so it ha it's a pronoun and then nothing can follow a pronoun except for breaking the continuance of the evidence or an adverb which in this case that's what's happening and then uh, that adverb is modifying kept into an adjective and then getting is an adjective and then worse is a pronoun 
Why are American lives getting shorter? Well, take a look at the grocery store. Take a look in your refrigerator. How about that? Next headline comes from NPR. Las Vegas police find a public official's DNA at the scene of a journalist's murder. Adjective, 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 pronoun, adverb, adjective, 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 pronoun, adverb, adjective, pronoun, adverb, adjective, pronoun. Wow, they like that little scenario there, that syntax pattern, the one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, four. Well, is that any uh, surprise? I mean, seriously, folks. What public official, I mean, I can't, you, you really cannot go an election term without finding someone from a particular political party or elected official that's been embroiled in some sort of tomfoolery. This comes with the uh, gig, I guess. Next one comes from ABC News. Dodge. No, that's not judge. DOJ will appeal judge's decision to grant Trump's special master request to review seized docs. So we got adjective, adjective in the future tense, adjective, adjective, pronoun, adverb in the future tense, adjective, 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 pronoun, adverb in the future tense again, adjective, adjective in the past tense, pronoun. So I guess this has to do with the uh, thing that happened at one of Trump's residences where the FBI busted in and, and uh, you know, basically broke and entered and, and stole some stuff. Interestingly enough, I don't know if the viewer knows this, but in that instance, it could have been handled a lot differently than that. Uh, they could have actually asked to enter been granted entrance and then had someone open the uh, safe. No problem. But I guess, you know, they have a flair for the dramatic. That's what, I mean, this generation, man, it's just all about the drama. Jeez. So special master request. So Trump, so a judge, a fiction judge, granted Trump's special master request. Oh, so Trump asked or requested that a special, special master review the documents that the FBI took from his safe. In other words, he wants an independent party, I guess that's not invested in either side, to look at the documents. And the Department of Justice doesn't like that. They, they don't want an unbiased party to look at those documents, so they're appealing that decision, I guess. Interesting. The final headline, which seems to have been the biggest news of the week, Queen Elizabeth dead at 96 after 70 years of being the monarch. So let's begin our live in the now space syntax uh, performance. Instead of going from the back, I'm going to go forward this time just to show what that's like. So we see that live updates is a different colored font. However, it is the same size font, just all caps and not in boldface. And the spacing is the same in between these words. So I'm just going to treat that as, as part of this uh, text here. I'm not going to treat it as something separate. So live is a tangible contract adjective. Coloring updates into tangible contract adjective. Same thing with tearful crowds, and then gathered is going to be a tangible contract pronoun in the past tense because it precedes non-tangible contract adverb after, which is modifying Britain into adjective. And then longest serving is a compound adjective, which is coloring monarch into a pronoun. And we see here a conjunction, which is a neutral condition of state, it does not modify anything, nor is it modified by anything. And it is a bridge between these two tangible contract pronouns. The reason why also bacon is a pronoun is because serving is coloring both monarch and beacon and is the non-tangible contract conjunction, which is the bridge between the two pronouns. Followed by 
non-tangible contract of, which is modifying stability into adjective, died is tangible contract adjective in the past tense, 3.8, and then peacefully is non-tangible contract pronoun because of the ly, followed by non-tangible contract at, which is an adverb, modifying Balmoral, adjective, castle, pronoun, in, non-tangible contract, adverb, and in Scotland, is a dangling participle verb. And it's always hard when um, any family member dies, for any family, no matter who they are or what they've done. So condolences go out to that particular family. And uh, yeah, let's move on to meme of the week. I don't know if any of you are fans of the holiday season that special spirit that you feel from it. I know that they're beginning their Christmas, uh, how do you say it? Their Christmas displays in, in the stores already, even though Halloween hasn't even come yet. So I thought this was a perfect meme to share uh, with, that, with regards to that. So to move on to the cognitive conjecture portion, Oh, wow. I just noticed that uh, that's strange because when I look behind me, I don't see that there, but I can only see it in my camera. So that that's interesting. Cool. All right. So this comes from a channel. I don't know really how to pronounce this name. I'll try. It's colon space hi hyphen viet colon space and i'm not even going to try to pronounce that one right off the bat we see the common error in correct sentence structure well people who claim to use correct sentence structure but this isn't correct sentence structure because it's colon space which means of the and every correct sentence structure must start with a cause which is for the. So the correct way to write that name would have be the colon and have it tied up against the H. I don't see any other attempts at correct sentence structure here, except, uh, no, it's all in brackets. Everything is in brackets. So let's see what this is about. How to log the claims through Federal Postal Court Quantum Registry System. Question mark. So ladies and gentlemen, just, just right off the bat, you know, using plain English. How is that a question? I mean, wouldn't the correct in the fiction sense way to phrase that be, how do I log the claims through the Federal Postal Court Quantum Registry System? That seems more like a statement to me, what they're saying there. But in any case, let's move forward and see what we got here. Would you like to talk us through, Hugh, yeah. how, for example, the Australian people can come to us and log their claims in? Can you show us how that's done? Sure. So the process starts uh, with uh, this uh, form that collects the information, the vital information. Quantum hyphen land hyphen log hyphen form. All right, so you see they put the, uh, the colon tied up against the Q, which is correct. That's correct. Yay. But then at the end, we have a colon, which is not correct. Boo. And the reason it's not correct is because you're saying of the, which means there has to be a fact following it, but it's not. So I'll, I'll just coin a new term here and call that the dangling participle colon. <laughs> there's nothing following it. 
So literally, if you would read this, you would say for the quantum hyphen land hyphen log hyphen form of the for this questionnaire hyphen form, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't make any sense. For this questionnaire hyphen form is, oh my goodness, so they've just broken the mathematical interface right here. There needs to be two positional audio fact phrases in front of the verb. Reason being, you need two points with which to establish a straight line, a straight geometric line. So you know where you're going, the geometric level playing field of contract. For the facts, of the facts, then you can draw your line. Two points, cause, concern, then you put your verb in. But here we have only one, so we have no idea where the line is, so thus the mathematical interface is broken. And as basically thrown this whole thing into adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. And then we have two causes in this sentence. It with, again, that, that breaks the mathematical interface. Each correct sentence structure must have one cause and one authority. Can't have two causes like this, not, not in this form. Now, of course, at the beginning, you can say uh, for this claimant and for this witness, but it still functions at the beginning of the sentence as the cause. And when it comes at the end of the sentence, it would be by this claimant and by this witness period. And so it maintains the mathematical interface. This puts the cause after the verb, which really betrays a severe lack of knowledge of correct sentence structure. Not only that, but then we also see in used as a, a positional, which was the opposite of in, out. So the fact, correct sentence structure, uh, the abbreviation CSSPSG performance would not maintain the same value backwards as it does forwards. And then we have just some adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun babble underneath there. To start the, off the log because we that's how they they contract and that's how they come in okay so we will ask for the email so this one every time when the the, the, the there's a red asterisk it, it's a required information and um, th this is just a, a quantum sentence you know for this questionnaire hyphen form is with the data collection it is not for the quantum land log read it backwards in the correct sentence structure past that's sentence, the best way to check your work is to read it backwards by this postal uh, federal postal court venue station so it's it's just it says it all there in in a in a kind of uh one sweet sentence that this is what it's all about but thanks to david wayne miller we have a technology that allows no misinterpretations what that means is that understand this there's one word and that one word has only one meaning it doesn't have a multiple meaning well what he's saying there is true you have to know how to do it that's the most important thing is to know how to do it and i've seen no evidence that these individuals know how to do that neither one of these individuals so let's move forward here and see try and get to the just if of what's going it, on they can upload it and if they don't they can get it uh, later on later on we know most fraud takes place on paper and the fraud of you being you know declared as non de gear or as a dead horse or a dead person or a dead man and a woman takes mm. place on paper as well and that piece of paper reverse set it for a minimum of 300 dpi which allows a reasonable level of resolution mm -hmm. and make sure that, you know, you would use it yourself as it were, and then you would upload it. Okay. Yes. Yep. So that will be uploaded as a file. <clears throat> now we, we didn't make that compulsory because sometimes some claimants haven't done their live life claim yet, but it There's... doesn't stop them from uh, uh, logging in uh, as a matter of urgency or, you know the timing wise so they can so this is supposedly a correct sentence structure communication policy syntax grammar based uh registration area 
where you log this stuff in through their federal postal court. And what he just said is, it's not necessary to have your live life claim to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, why do you think that is? Well, one reason would be because it's not correct sentence structure. It's all fiction. As I just showed you at the beginning, there's no correct sentence structure on that page. There's certainly none on this page. That's why you can log it in because guess what you're doing when you log something into something like this? There is no difference between doing this and registering your car or your house or whatever with the government or with any other entity. You're basically giving whatever you have to, I don't know, this guy right there or, or the other guy. I don't know who's who's doing this, who, you know, it come where the buck stops. I don't know where the buck stops, but I know that whoever does this and sends this into them, the buck's going to go right past them to somebody else. Here's some logic for you. Think about this. If you wish to be autonomous, if you, if you wish to take authority over your contracts, why would you send it to somebody else? Why wouldn't you just do it yourself? You can. It's very easy. If you've ever created a live life claim, and I don't mean buy a live life claim from someone else. I mean, you create the live life claim yourself using flag mechanics, postal mechanics, banking mechanics, grammar mechanics. The same way you did that is the same way that you would claim your house, claim your car, claim whatever you want to claim. It's the same way. And it would be yours then. If you send it to someone else, you're giving it to them. The same way you register your car, you drive around with the registration, you have it, you have to show that registration to someone. That's not yours. It's someone else's. Same thing with your live life claim. If you bought your live life claim from someone else, that copyright copy claim section at the bottom has another name in it and it ain't yours. So that's not yours. It's simple logic, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people have a hard time hearing that. So I want to end this on a positive note. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate your viewership. If you have any questions, comments, criticisms, leave them in the comments. If you're interested in correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, I do provide one-on-one -on -one individual workshops you can email me at the email address uh, at the bottom of your screen there and apply for a correct grammar workshop uh, you can sign up for memberships on my channel hit the join button there are two tiers uh, the first tier is just for people who just want to give a little thank you for the thousands of hours i put into these over 400 videos and the second tier is for those who want exclusive content that i post every week polls and things like that and you also get a voice in the direction of this channel and what type of videos I make next um, it's a neat little compu uh, community uh, that's been forming around this channel so thank you very much cheers stay safe and we'll see you next week salute